So hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 2008 Wuxia film called The Forbidden Kingdom. So South Boston teenager Jason Tripitikas is a fan of martial arts, film and awakens from a dream of a battle between the Monkey King and Celestial Soldiers in the clouds. He visits a pawn shop in Chinatown to buy Wuxia's DVDs and discovers a golden staff. On his way home, Tipiti Gras is harassed by some hooligans whose leader, Lupo, attempts to use him to help them rob the shop owner Hop, who is shot by Lupo. Hop tells him to deliver the staff to its rightful owner and Tripitikas flees with the staff. He is cornered on the rooftop by Ifal being put off the roof by the staff. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself in a village in ancient China that is under attack by armored soldiers. The soldiers see his staff and attempts to seize it. He is saved by the inebriated Traveling scholar Lu Han, a supposed immortal who remains alert and agile even when drunk. Liu tells him the story of the rivalry between the Monkey King and the Jade Warlord. The Warlord tricked the King into settling aside his magic staff, read Jingdu Bang, and transformed the immortal into a stone statue. But the king cast his staff far away before the transformation. Liu ends the tale with a prophecy about a seeker who will find the staff and free the king. Just then, they, attack, they are attacked by the warlord's men again, but manage to escape with the help of the golden sparrow, a young woman whose family was murdered by the warlords. Meanwhile, the warlord upon learning about the staff, sends the witch Ni Chang to help him retrieve it in exchange for the elixir of immortality. Tripitikas, Liu, and Sparrow meet the silent monk who joins them in their quest to free the king. As the four travel to the Five Elements Mountains, Liu and the monk teach Tripitikas Kung Fu along the way. After crossing the desert, they encounter Ni Chang. Ni Chang then offers them to return Tripitikas home in exchange for the staff. When he refuses, a battle ensues. Ni Chang fires an arrow which mortally wounds Liu. Tripitikas' team escapes and takes refuge in a monastery. They learn that Liu is not an immortal as he claimed to be, and only the warlord's elixir can save his life. Tripitita goes to the warlord's palace alone to exchange the staff for the elixir. Because the warlord can only give the elixir to only one of them, he orders Tripitita to duel Ni Chang. The winner will receive the elixir. Sparrow, the silent monk, and the monks from the monastery arrive to join the battle. Silent monk fights the warlord. Sparrow fights the witch. While the witch is distracted, Tripitikas manages to grab the elixir and tosses it to Liu, who drinks it and recovers. Liu then fights Ni Chang on the balcony, then takes her off it. Ni Chang tries to strangle Liu Yan and with her hair to climb back to the balcony, but Liu Yan cuts her hair and causes her to fall to her death. The monk is mortally wounded by the warlord and passes the staff to Tripititas, who uses it to smash the king's statue. The king is freed and the silent monk revealed to be one of the king's clones. 
Sparrow is killed. The warlord is eventually stabbed by Tripitikas after being defeated by the monkey king and falls into a lava pit to his death. The Jade Emperor, having returned from his meditation, praises Tripitita for fulfilling the prophecy and allows him for one wish, which he asks to return home. Tripitita finds himself back in the present day. He overpowers Lupo and drives the other hooligans away. Hop survives being shot and claims that he is immortal, hinting that he is actually Liu. Before the film ends, Jason is delighted to meet the woman who resembles Sparrow. Chipitetas continues honing his kung fu steels while Liu narrates the king's search for the truth. Yeah.